sinking funds why you need them in your life that's what we're going to talk about today on debt free friday All right, so I already have a video about how I budget for sinking funds and what some of our personal sinking funds are that we save for every single month. Now I'm gonna to talk to you guys about why you actually need sinking funds. And excuse me as I look down, I have my notes here because I don't want to forget anything. First of all, sinking funds keep you out of debt, okay? So when life punches you in the face, and it will punch us all in the face at some time, um, when a big expense comes, you know, sinking funds is what will save you from having to go back into debt or even having to dip into your emergency funds. I mean, if you have enough sinking funds and if you're to the point now where you're really ready to save for any kind of expense that comes, um, you can create a sinking fund for it and it will, like I said, protect you from having to go back into debt and from having to use your emergency funds. I define an emergency as something that you haven't planned for. If you're really good at planning out your sinking funds and really thinking about what you're gonna need in this up and coming year, um, sinking funds will protect you. So that's kind of like one and two, right? They keep you from they they keep you from going into debt and they help protect your emergency funds, and that's you know imperative. The third thing is it helps to it helps with your spending and budget. So again, I budget for um, sinking funds at the beginning of the year, and I do an annual budget, and I say I want this much in this Christmas sinking fund, I want this much in the our vacation sinking fund, I want this much in car maintenance, and then from there I just divide that by 12 what my monthly amount is going to be. And so it helps you to look at your spending like, okay, well, you know, I really want to save so much for these sinking funds that I really don't have any extra amount of money to kind of splurge or set, spend on miscellaneous stuff that don't really have a category in your budget. Um, I think sinking funds is a great way to absorb that extra income that you have once you are debt free because then you can just plan um, for your future accordingly. So okay, so that's three things. The fourth thing is it helps spread out large expenses. So for instance, we know Christmas comes every year, we know we're gonna have to buy Christmas gifts. Instead of taking that big hit in December, you can spread that whole, that, that expense out for the entire year. So for instance, if you, just for easy math, if you wanna spend $1,200 for Christmas, um, gifts this year, you can set, start saving $100 a month starting in January. So it's just easier for you to swallow that $1,200 expense when December comes. So um, that's just one example. You know, there are other things like if you want to save for certain things about your house or if you're trying to buy a house or your car or anything like that, it's just great to spread those kinds of big expenses out. So that's pretty much it. Those are the top four things, reasons why you need sinking funds. I think it's so important for a healthy budget to have sinking funds and I think it's important to keep you out of debt. Even if you're working on becoming debt free, instead of throwing all of your cash at your debt, set aside some cash for, for expenses that you know are going to come um, so that you don't have to put yourself back in debt to, to, to face those things. I think sinking funds are the number one important thing for a successful budget um, and to remain debt free. So if you have any questions, hit me down below. Don't forget to check out my brand new Facebook group that I created. Come join in on the fun. We have all different types of conversations in there. I'm very active in there. It's probably the best way to contact me if you have any questions. Um, and the link for that is down below. And you can also check out all my other social media platforms as well. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.